Okay, in the absence of a uh, musical group or drunken karaoke, uh, I'm reading from two of the authors who couldn't be here this evening. Uh, Catfish McDerris' most inf infamous chapbook is Prying, with Jack Michelin and Charles Bukowski. His best readings were in Paris at the Shakespeare and Company bookstore, and with Jimmy, the ghost of Hendrix Spencer in New York City on 42nd Street. He's done over 20 chaps in the last 25 years. He's been in the New York Quarterly, Slipstream, mm -hmm. Pearl, Main Street Rag, Cafe Review, Sharon Review, Zen Tattoo, which is a poem all by itself, uh, Wormwood Review, Great Weather for Media, and Graffiti. He's been nominated for 15 push carts and for Best of the Net in 2010 and 2013. He won the Uprising Award in 1999 in the Flash Fiction Contest judged by the U.S. Poet Laureate in 2009. His latest book is a hardcover from Lulu.com called Jupiter Orgasma. And his poem, Lemons and Prairie Dogs, is shorter than that. <laughs> I'm not picking fun at him. I'm thinking when Michelle unexpectedly read my bio, I wished I'd given her the 50 words or less one. Oh, well. Most poetry sticks its fingers down my throat with nauseating boredom and makes my teeth ache. I would rather lick sunlight from a lemon, eat fragrance from a rose, drink blood from a pomegranate, hear crickets fiddle, watch stars vanish in mist. But a good poem is lightning splitting an oak, a mountain of ebony basalt, butter melting on jalapeno cornbread, petrified wood, the Mona Lisa smile, a prairie dog town, and a tiger devouring my mother. <laughs> cool. Matthew Sredeja lives in Toledo, Ohio with his wife Kelly and their cat Eleanor. Matthew has worked in the automotive and glass industries. He started attending open mic poetry readings in 1999, and you can find his poems at CFDL, Full of Crow, Red Fez, Splat, Area Ma Splat Art Magazine, and P. Pig Pen. His poetry has been in print issues of Toledo Free Press, Press Star, Every Reason Zine, CFDL again, Toledo Poetry Project, and in the book, Broadway Bards First from 2010. And Matthew's poem is called The Eloquence. It seems so simple, the idea illuminated in the mind like dust fluttering in the waning sunbeam stretched across the dining room at the end of the day. Real long thoughts. But I have to pause. The smell of banana bread baking makes the cut up watermelon blush. I begin to wonder, do I have the eloquence to put the thought out there? In the music air, the air where some will see sky-colored mortar and cloud-colored stories, while others will see cloud-colored mortar and sky-colored stories. And I might never know. And in inviting me, Michelle was kind enough to tell me I had time to read a poem of my own. So why not? Uh, it's called Elegy, and it's the uh, title poem by default to uh, my fourth chapbook. Dig the small grave and place the smaller body so, just so. The chill May rain and the warm human tears falling on her head will serve for the ritual washing of this puppy, barely two days old. Some future digger after truth, alien or human, kneeling with trowel and brush at this grave, will note in clear, careful script the wonder that a people would be so careful of their God's smallest creations and so careless of themselves. Thank you.
All right, we're going to take a, about a 15 minute break to drinks, bathrooms, smoke, whatever you need to do. And we'll be back. Thank you. Yay! Yeah, I'll go.